Hey, I hope you're doing well. Last week I shared with you three exercises that you can do to calm your anxious nerves, to deal with your mental anxiety. Today I want to share with you five simple exercises that you can do to deal with your physical part of it. And to help me, I've collaborated with one of my friends uh, and a yoga practitioner who lives in my building. We did maintain social distancing, but we still got you five exercises that can help you, five yoga asanas that can help you ease your anxious nerves and release all the tension in your body. So let's get started. Uh, so I have Bhakti with me and she's a yoga, practicing yoga teacher and she decided to teach us few very simple asans that we can do at, in the comfort of our house while maintaining social distancing. But let us ask her what she thinks of uh, these asans. So, over to you. Okay, hello everyone. Like uh, she's already introduced uh, me. Basically, the five asans that we have looked at today, okay, it helps mostly to deal with the part of anxiety. Also, it helps in uh, blood circulation, a proper improvement in your blood circulation and uh, helps to calm your brain it gives a flexibility to your muscles so these are five simple asanas that you can easily do at your home and make sure that you're not straining yourself do it at your comfort slowly and steadily right we'll be first doing uttanasana so for uttanasana have a little bit distance between your feet raise both your hands up stretch your upper body now come down slowly, try touching your feet, be there for 10 counts, make sure that your knees are straight, you are not bending your knees, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, release, slowly come up. The next asana that we'll be doing is Trikonasana. For Trikonasana, you need to spread your legs three to four feet apart. Both your hands in shoulder line distance straight. Your right feet needs to go 90 degrees in 90 degrees angle. Go down sideways slowly. Make sure you're not bending in front. Now be there for 10 counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the asan slowly in the similar way, the way you've gone into the asan. Repeat the same thing on the next side, your left feet into 90 degrees angle, go down slowly. Be there for 10 counts, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release, get back slowly. Okay, the next asana that we'll be doing is Janu Shirshasana. For Janu Shirshasan, you need to sit in Dandasan. Your legs straight, hands beside your hip. Now, fold your right leg. Stretch both your hands up. Stretch your upper body. Bend down and try to hold your feet. If you're not able to, you can go down as much as you can. Be in this position for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release. Get your hands down. Repeat the same on the next side. Fold your left leg. Stretch your hands and your upper body up. Get down. Hold your feet. Make sure that your knee is straight and you're not bending your knees. 
be in this position for 10 counts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Release the asana slowly. Okay. The next asana that we'll be doing is Dhanurasana. For Dhanurasana, you need to lie on your stomach, your legs straight. Now, fold your legs from your knees. Hold the ankle of your foot with your hands. Now, stretch your entire body upwards. Stretch it as much as you can. Hold the position for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Release the asan slowly. The next asan is Setu Bandha. For Setu Bandha, you need to lie on your back, your legs straight, hands besides your body. Now fold your legs from your knees. Try to hold your ankle with your hands. If you're not able to do that, it's fine. You can press your hands on the ground. Now you need to lift your hip as much as you can. So lift your hip and press your chin on your chest. Hold this position for five counts. One, two, three, four, five. Release the asan very slowly. Straighten your legs. These asanas may look really simple, but I urge you to try them because they can help you feel fabulous. Do it at the comfort of your house. And like she said, don't strain yourself. Do it with relaxed ease and don't forget to breathe while you're in the pose. I'd love to hear from you and what you think about the asanas as well as this video. And if you want more such videos, do let me know in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you find it resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends. And I'll see you next week. Until then, you take good care of yourself. You and your family, please stay home and stay safe. Bye.